I'm not even trying to relitigate the, the actual crime or the offense or the trial anymore. I'm just simply trying to state that this is not fair. How is he doing today? Today is Monday. How is he doing? Have you seen him? How are his spirits? He's strong. He's in good spirits. Um, obviously, you know, this is taking a, a toll on him, you know, uh, as far as the stress and, you know, the, the, he, he, he's, he's, his freedom's been taken from him. You know, he is in a cage. He's in, in, he's incarcerated and um, he has a good sense of humor and he's really strong um, internally. Chelsea has a lot of internal strength. Um, and we haven't been able to, I haven't been able to visit him um, yet um, waiting for, there's a five to seven day waiting period, I guess, for family and um, um, and members of the support team that are not lawyers and uh, uh, clergy people have to wait, I think, five to seven days for the paperwork and a waiting period to conclude. And then we are able to go in and, and visit. But it's extremely tough on him and it's extremely tough on us. Is he held in a special cell, do you know, or is he held in a special ward of the, the um, Cook County Jail? According to what, what I've, I've heard, he's um, actually, I think, in the uh, psychiatric ward. And Josie has not had anything bad to say about He's He said that the people inside the, the uh, law, law enforcement and the um, um, prison guards inside have been, you know, nice to him. They've been accommodative. They've been professional. Uh, he hasn't had anything bad to say about them at all. Um, but the reality is, is that prison is not a safe place. And I'm really concerned about, you know, his location and about him being there, um, especially in light of receiving this kind of morbid message. And Tell me more about those obscene calls that you received. Uh, when did they start? Yeah. And what did you immediately think when you started getting them? You know, we see we see a lot of hate mail online um, on social media and, you know, being a celebrity with a long history, Jesse's received a lot of hate mail and many of my family members have received hate mail and hate speech directed toward us. But this was a very morbid sounding um, message, um, unadulterated evil. It was pure evil, the tone of it and the, the intention behind it. Um, and it was concerning because he is incarcerated right now. And, you know, as much as um, we'd hate to admit it, jails and prisons are really not the safest places in America. They're, they're very unsafe places. So my brother's situation as a um, celebrity status, his celebrity status, and also given the fact that this case has been publicized and it's so well known and it's so um, full of political and uh, social um, you know, um, consequences. I just feel that it is very concerning for me, for him to be incarcerated. You know, I tried to make the point to the judge the other day that um, incarceration results in mass incarceration because of situations like this, imprisoning someone for a low level felony. That is, this crime is not even considered a felony in most states in America. And he's doing jail time for it. Um, five months, he's, he's, he's going to be in jail. Um, and that, that message was very, very morbid, very evil. All right. Very dark and very, um, very pestilent. And, you know, I'm looking at a situation where as an older brother, you know, you just don't want your siblings in that kind of situation. And, and this is, um, this is one of them. Public discourse in this country is at an all time low and it's ridiculous. You know, you don't like my brother. You don't, you know, necessarily like his music. You don't like him. That's your right as an American. But to wish harm on him and to wish, you know, to try to criminalize him when you would not want your own relative to, you know, have to endure what he's endured. It's just unconscionable. And people have to remember that. The rights you want and are willing to take from an American today are the rights that you should know are of yours that are challenged tomorrow. I'm not even trying to relitigate the, the actual crime or the offense or the trial anymore. I'm just simply trying to state that this is not fair, the imposition of this stiff um, uh, penalty. In addition to the hundreds, hundred, more than $100,000 of fines in, in restitution, he was, um, that was part of his sentencing and 30 months of probation, which is a long time as well. I mean, they gave him five months of jail time. I mean, 
this is a pretty stiff, stiff penalty for, for what he's accused of. When do you think you'll be able to see him? And, you know, hey, will you I'm, hoping, I'm very hopeful. I can see him hopefully um, at the end of this week, hopefully, you know, the five to seven business days that they offer um, as the waiting period will, will pass and, and I'll be able to go, go see him and, you know, bring my Bible. We can say some prayers and I can hopefully, you know, I, I think that it's good for anyone that's incarcerated, anyone that's incarcerated, bring as many family and friends through the you know system. It even says that on the, on the, on the, uh, the website for, for the, the Cook County jail, it says, you know, family, friends, you know, um, the social element should be there. So they remember what they look forward to when they, when they get out and that'll keep them going while they're there, you know? So I'm hopeful I can see him this week.